Hey up everybody. Uh, I'm on next part of my tanks, I think it's part four. And on this part then I'm going to make the covers to sit in the, in that recess. Uh, and then hopefully after that, other than painting, they'll be completed. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to cut this brass to the relevant dimensions to fit to fit in there. Uh, put so many holes in, then I'll have a seal in there. And then I've got just got to put a filler cap on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead, get these cut to size, and then we'll reconvene. Okay, I've just had a little bit of bench fitting work, making these tops, a bit of hack sawing and a bit of accurate filing. And I've, I've got them to be a nice fit now on both tanks. Maybe too good a fit, really. It is a push on fit on both of them so what I've got to do now then I've got to drill all the holes and once I've got the holes drilled I can then mark into those angles that I've soldered in and I'll thread them either M3 or M4 I've had a th think about putting the filler caps on and I've had a rummage round my brass my, my brass drawer uh, little bits that, that I save in, in brass and I found these two large nuts here they've got a thread in them with a one and a half mil pitch and they're approximately 37 mil ID, ID inside diameter so what I've thought of they're just a nice fit on them tops I'm going to solder, soft solder those on before I cut that out so it don't, doesn't distort then once I've got that drilled in I'm, I've found some bits of brass off cuts I'm going to thread it with a one and a half mil pitch thread on to make a, a screw cap and I've not got a piece of bronze at the moment big enough to make the top on that so I'll, I'll either solder a, a top on it or use a piece of this brass just to just to make it up to put a, a knurled top on now you don't have to put threaded filling fill in cap in uh, you can either just put a, a one with a nice push fit or you could make one with a hinge that hinges over it's just that I've got these ready made so I thought I'd utilize them so I'll move over to the lathe then and I'm going to thread this with a one and a half mil pitch thread on it So what I've been doing on lathe then, because I've not got no material, the diameter, no solid material, the diameter that I need in brass, I've got some uh, off cuts of little pieces of various things which I've cobbled together. So I've made the outside out of that and knurled it. Then I've made an inside piece which I'm going to solder into that to make it solid. And then I've made the threaded piece that's going to screw into this boss when it's soldered on with the thread on. And I've made that 
a nice loose fit so I can get an o-ring at the back and it'll be easy to take on and off so that'll screw into that and then this piece and then this piece is going to be soldered in when I solder that one in will be soldered in to that and by doing it like that I've been able to get my thread right up to the back and keep everything short uh, you know the length short so that will be on there and then once it's all soldered together I can put it back in lathe and just take a trim across the top to make it probably dome shaped I'm over on my Harrison lathe now and I'm going to set this up in the 3 jaw chuck on that hexagon, bore it to the diameter of the thread so my, my plug will go in, my, my cap. If you've not got a lathe with, it, with this with a swing like I've got on my Harrison you just have to change it out and file it probably or you could do it on your milling machine That's it then, another part of Jigsaw completed, they're all done now. I'm just waiting for some uh, bolts to come to fit the, the tank cover on. I've got to make a gasket for that eventually and I've also got to make an o-ring for this filler cap. But they're ready for painting now. Then once they're painted I can fit my handrail etc. Right, that's it then for this part then, this part at Loco, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next, I'll, I'll have a look at book what's left to do and we'll, we'll move on from there. So, if you've not seen my other videos on this then, on this Loco uh, build which I've done from scratch, take a look at them, and if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.